I'm joined by the Commonwealth Secretary General, Baroness Scotland, uh, and uh, very good to talk to you, Baroness Scotland, and, uh, and your reaction, because, of course, that was a speech not just for and to the United Kingdom, it was for the entire Commonwealth. Absolutely, and I think it was um, a, a speech which will be so welcomed by everyone. You know, Her Majesty the Queen, when she was only 21, dedicated herself. She said, I dedicate my life, whether it be long or short, to the Commonwealth and the peoples of the Commonwealth. And this message is another demonstration of that total dedication, uh, the love and support that she's given, not just to the people of the United Kingdom and to her dominions, but for the whole Commonwealth as their head. And this is a time when every single one of us throughout the Commonwealth are frightened and worried and concerned about the consequences of this uh, totally devastating pandemic, which is reaching its tentacles into the homes of virtually every family. I think there are a few of us who doesn't, don't have a friend, a, a family member, or someone we care about desperately, who is uh, involved in this in one way or another. Some of us have had family members who've been desperately ill. Some of us have family members who are members of the NHS and are caring. And all of us are affected by this dramatic change in our lives, as Her Majesty has said. And the fact that she is expressing what so many of us are feeling, I think it's going to give a huge amount of courage and determination. You will know that in the war years about which she spoke, the Commonwealth stood solidly together in comradeship and came to each other's aid to support, to help and to defeat something that was pernicious in the way it was affecting everyone. And this is the same thing that's happening now. And I think that Her Majesty will give great courage to those who are fighting this pandemic. And that courage is really needed. So I think she is demonstrating the remarkable leadership that she has continued to demonstrate from the first moment when she became a queen. But she demonstrated it even as a young child. And I think it was so poignant that she referred to that message given when she was Princess Elizabeth and Princess Margaret as young people in 1940, giving courage to young people. You'll know that the Commonwealth is 2.4 billion people, but 30% of those uh, people are under the age of 30. So I think she was also talking to the young people to say, I remember what it was like. I remember what it was like to be frightened. And we stood together then and we will stand together now and in the future. So I think that message to the Commonwealth was also saying we were a family then. We are a family now. We will be stalwart. And the people of this generation have the courage and fortitude to do what the last generation did. And I think and Scott, no, so, so, sorry, Baroness Scotland, just while, while you're with us, we are about to, to run out of time for this segment. Um, you mentioned uh, the size of the Commonwealth in terms of population. I mean, it is, as we all understand, a diverse group of nations. Yes. Uh, but we do, in our own country, tend to, to concentrate on what's going on with coronavirus just on these shores. What is the situation in so many of those Commonwealth countries that well, do not have as well-developed health systems as ours? Well, they're very frightened, and you'll know that's why we have created, uh, the Commonwealth Secretariat has created the Coronavirus Response Centre on our website to, to put a coronavirus tracker to pull all that we know, all that we want to share, because all of us have made mistakes, but those countries have had to deal with it right up front, because it's the first time we're dealing with this sort of uh, terrible pandemic. But we're learning and we're sharing. And we want to make sure that those countries who are coming later to this pandemic really understand and learn and take the advantage of all that we have learnt those countries who are in the forefront, because there's so much that we need to do. But the Commonwealth is a network. It's not just the Secretariat, it's the 90 odd organisations who are coming together. We're, we're seeing Commonwealth nurses, Commonwealth doctors, Commonwealth pharmacists, all coming together to say, what can I do? And it's been remarkable to see what the volunteers are doing. Just 750 thousand volunteers in this country, but they're volunteering all over our Commonwealth and we're sticking together. So there's so much potential worry and pain. But one thing we know 
is that the biggest threat to us is fear. And this virus will not defeat us if we stick together. And our Commonwealth family has been fantastic historically at doing that. We fought off other things Indeed. and we will fight this as well. If we share what we know, what works, what doesn't work, and we Indeed. make sure that we leave no one behind. OK, Baroness Scott, great talking to you. Thank you very much indeed, the Secretary General of the Commonwealth there.